from the famous Mashamba West Mine, of course, famous for the red cuprats. Now, here we have a tiny example of cuprat crystals. Let me just see if I can get... It's not a very large piece. There's a little bit of cuprat sitting in the yellow uh, calcite, which wasn't all that common from the deposits of Tenke. Matrix quite typical to the material where we find the cuprats, dusted with a very pale blue chrysocola. And then sitting on top of that are these yellow calcite crystals, which have tiny sections of cuprite associated. Now, with very strong lighting, this would be the red cuprite. That little silver metallic, or the pure silver metallic with intense lighting, would be a, 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 almost a gem ruby red. Tiny traces of cuprite here as well, maybe some in the matrix. Let's have a closer look. I, I really struggled with my still pictures, and I'm also struggling on this one with my with my video. So it, it's not a very photogenic piece. It's actually a very aesthetically appealing little guy. From a display point of view, I'd have him going on a turntable like this. So there's a crystalline section uh, right around there. And it's a pale undertone of yellow, little bits of cuprite here and there, little crystals of cuprite sitting in this calcite matrix. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Uh, no, it's appearing black. You see there, there's a silver metallic, but it's it's very, the, the camera tends to underexpose on this particular material. There's a nice indication. Well, there we go.